Hello there grade 9 students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, pag-aaralan natin ay under ng grade 9 mathematics, third quarter lesson, module 1. So dalawang, hinati ko yung module 1 sa dalawang part para mas maintindihan nyo ng maigi kung ano nga ba yung mga theorems involving parallelogram. So in this particular video, ang pag-aaralan natin ay conditions that make up a quadrilateral a parallelogram. So kailan daw natin masasabi na ang isang quadrilateral ay parallelogram or hindi. Okay, kaya siya tinawag na condition. Ano yun yung mga factors to consider para masabi nating parallelogram yung isang quadrilateral. Okay, so unang condition. Okay, theorems about parallelograms. First condition, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides are congruent. So sabi dito, Kung ang quadrilateral daw ay paralelogram, then yung opposite sides niya ay congruent. Okay? Pag sinabi nating opposite sides, yun yung katapat na side nung figure or nung ating quadrilateral. Let's say for example, ito, ang katapat niya na side ay ito. Ito, ang katapat niya side ay ito. So si line segment QP, ang katapat niyang side ay si, Q, uh, si RS. Si QR naman, ang katapat niyang side ay si line segment PS. Ito namang double line na to, it's just represent na kapag dal pag double line to, tapos double line din yung isa, that means pareha sila, ng, pareha sila ng length or side or congruent sila. Pag naman single line, tapos ito single line, of course, they are congru congruent naman yung dalawa na yun. Okay, so sabi dito, dapat daw ang... Um, quadrilateral, ang opposite side niya congruent para masabi natin na paralelogram siya. Okay. So, in this case, um, PQ is congruent to RS and uh, SP, etong SP, is congruent to QR. Ayan, sa nakita nyo. So, this is a paralelogram dahil congruent yung opposite sides niya. Next. Condition number two. So, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite angles are congruent. Okay? So, sabi dito, kung ang quadrilateral daw ay parallelogram, dapat ang opposite angle niya ay congruent or magkamuka. Let's say, for example, si, eto yung tinatawag nating opposite um, angle. Kung kanina yung katapatan na side, yung opposite side, dito naman yung katapat na angle, yun yung opposite angle niya. So, si Q, angle Q, ang katapat niyang angle ay si angle S, si angle P, katapat niyang angle si angle R, or si, si PQR, katapat niyang angle si PSR, and then itong dalawa naman na to. Okay, so since isa lang to, isa lang din yung katapat niya, congruent sila. Ito naman dalawa, tapos dalawa din yung katapat niya, congruent din sila. Ayan. So, angle P is congruent to angle R, and angle Q is also congruent to angle S. So, that means this is a parallelogram. Again, pag sinabing parallelogram, dapat ang opposite angle niya ay congruent. Okay, third condition. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its consecutive angles are supplementary or adds up to 180. So sabi dito, kapag daw ang quadrilateral ay parallelogram, then yung consecutive angle, ibig sabihin ng consecutive angle, magkasunod na angle, dapat supplementary. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng supplementary? When we talk about supplementary, ibig sabihin lang nun, pag pinag-add natin yung dalawang angle, it is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So, yung dalawang, pag, ang consecutive angle natin ay yung dalawang magkasulod na angle. Let's say, for example, si angle P, ang consecutive angle niya ay si angle S. Si angle S, ang consecutive angle niya ay si angle R. Si angle R, ang consecutive angle niya ay si angle Q. Okay. So, in this case, uh, the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle Q, ito yan, is equal to 180. Kasi sila yung uh, consecutive angle. Ano pa? The measure of angle Q 
plus the measure of angle R is also equal to 180 kasi nga supplementary sila. The measure of angle R and the measure of angle S is also equal to 180. And the measure of angle S plus the measure of angle P is also equal to 180. Okay, let's say for example, si angle P is equal to 100, fa, ay 110. So that means si angle S is equal, ay so, sorry, si angle P is equal to um, 70. That means si angle S is equal to 110 kasi 70 plus 110 is 180. Dahil sabi natin, in order for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram, dapat yung consecutive angle niya are supplementary or it adds up to 180 degrees. And the last condition, okay, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its diagonals bisect each other. Or simply, let's say for example, M to. Nawala kasi yung um, pen ko eh. So let's say for example, lag maglagay tayo ng dalawang diagonal. Ayan, diagonal. Okay, so it should bisect each other, okay. So, uh, pag bisect each other, ibig sabihin, magpo-form siya ng equal length. Okay? Equal length yung uh, angle of bisector niya. So, lalagay tayo dito ng M. Okay? So, that means, uh, QM, yung QM, eto yung QM, is congruent to SM. Kasi, dun, andun yung uh, angle of bisector. And PM, yun naman, is congruent to RM. So, in that case daw, um, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay, let's summarize the conditions that make up quadrilateral a parallelogram. First, opposite sides of parallelogram are congruent. Second, opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. Third, consecutive angles of parallelogram are supplementary. Lastly, diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. So, sa next video natin, mag magsasolve tayo ng mga problems and magpo-prove tayo ng mga problems involving theorems on parallelogram or conditions that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram. Thanks for watching.